Welcome back to the channel, folks. I'm your host, Fog. Thank you for joining another episode here on Battle Gamers. And today, we've got a video that's more tutorial, right? We got a little bit of uh, request from YouTube to Facebook to Reddit to do the tutorial of how to use the Legends Pinball, Ultimate Pinball, with the Oculus. So I had a video that went up, which will be in the link below, that showcased playing for example, Pinball FX2 VR on the Oculus, but using the controller for the from the Legends Pinball, the actual control deck. So you had the plunger and everything, and it worked inside the game. It's uh, fairly simple overall, but I think some, some of it can be a little uh, confusing in some ways. And then also because there's multiple different software to make just Oculus work with Steam games, as well as then Steam to be able to distinguish which controller you're gonna be using. It does a pretty good job of this, but so stay tuned. We're gonna check that out. Any of the links um, you'll see appear like, hey, check the bottom. It'll be in the description for, for when I'm talking about the, where to get the software or what you need to do or other videos to reference because there is a whole install video that I did here that talks about some things I referenced where there's an Alienware PC in here. That video will be below as well, and you'll understand what I'm talking about when I reference like an Alienware, the OTG PC inside the cabinet. So that's it. Stay tuned. The rest of it's coming right up. Essentially, your first step is you've got to get the Oculus Quest 2 connected to the Legends Pinball or the OTG PC that's inside the Legends Pinball. The place to go for that is oculus.com slash setup and that link will be below. And in there, you will be basically on the, the front of the page and you'll find Oculus Quest 2, Oculus Link. That's the software you wanna download. Start that download. No, we're good. You're gonna to go to steampower.com. You're gonna to go to install Steam and you're going to then have to create an account. If you don't have one, they're free. And at that point, you're set to go for at least the software side. Here's the page for Pinball FX2 VR. That would be the first game. That's the game that I tested and showcased in the, the first round of games that I tested and showcased in the video. The second game, but this is a paid game as well. This is about $14.99 and then there's some DLC that you can buy for it, additional tables. And I think the $14.99 comes with three tables. Zachariah Pinball that you can find on Steam is another one you'll want to download. This one is free. so. If you download it for free, you can start playing the tables without VR, but you do have to pay for VR. Again, most of the stuff that you purchase inside of here will be DLC packs. I believe the VR one is around $14.99, and that gives you access to VR for any of the games that you own. So you do have to buy some tables inside of Zacharia to be able to play. So once you've got Steam installed and you've got your username and password set up, the first thing you're wanna, gonna wanna do is download Steam VR. The reason why you're going to need to do it manually is because if you don't set up a headset that works with Steam officially, like the HTC Vive or the Valve Index headsets, you have to initiate it yourself. The Oculus does not do that. And under the Oculus link, you will find settings. That's really the only thing that you need to do. And number one, if you already have Oculus Link installed and you have a USB-C cable that will plug into your Oculus Quest 2, you don't even need to do the wireless setup. Wire Inside the app, if you want to go wireless, you check on this Air Link underneath Settings and underneath Beta, and that allows the PC to kind of be in a standby mode listening for the Oculus Quest 2 to try to connect and that will stay on for 24 hours. If it doesn't get a connection within 24 hours, it shuts that down. You just have to go back into the Oculus Link app, flip on that little air link, and you're ready to go again. So the last thing you're going to want to do before you jump over to the Oculus Quest 2 headset and start uh, the process there is go in and configure. If you're using Zacharia Pinball on Steam, go into the game within your library Within the library page for the game, click controller configuration. Once you do that, it'll bring you to something that looks like the Steam Big Picture. 
uh, configuration page. And this is where you can go in and configure your controller, your, your control deck on your pinball machine to the game itself. I've made one. I will upload this to the community tab, but you'll be able to find that if you go into browse configurations and go to community. Right there, you'll be able to download it without messing around with it yourself. Pinball FX2 VR does not deal with this, does not need this. It automatically works if you follow the process that I put, that I'll put into the, the explanation while I've got the Quest 2 on. At this point, you should see that we're viewing the OS from inside the Oculus headset. This isn't something running on the PC. This is actually running within the Oculus Quest 2 itself. And these are my controllers, my headsets, you know, navigation, all of that stuff. So what we're gonna mess with here right now is under settings. And essentially, we've got this set up on the five gigahertz network. We've got the Oculus Link set up. It sees the, the PC since we've got that running. So we click on there and then we'll click launch. And this will take us into the Oculus Link app and show us our new menu system, new op options that we can do and everything that we can run from this point forward. Now, you can see the Wi-Fi, the, the, you, you might be able to see it. I don't know if you see exactly what I'm seeing, but there is a little bit of a stutter here and there as it gets started up because of the, the wireless network, but we're connected to the PC now. And what we can do is we can choose to once it catches up, there we go. It's coming along. So what we can do from this point is we could go and look at the actual desktop. So there is a virtual desktop built into the link app. Now we can see everything on the desktop, even the recording software. If we wanted to record right now, we could just do that and then we rec record everything that's happening on the screen here. It's not necessarily something we have to worry about now. We'll click on VR and it should start running here for us in a sec. If not, you can always go in and you can start it up from inside Steam, but there it goes. When you do have it running, it'll take up kind of the whole screen and at that point you're in Steam's VR now, like this is where we're at. This is the Steam uh, VR, o, not OS, but VR application. So you can see we have the Steam interface here. We can see our games that are installed. PC FX2, VR, Zacharia. And the first thing you want to do is kind of like set your controllers down at this point. What I did, what I noticed worked the best, and I don't know if this is any real, if there's reality in this or logic, the first button that I press is on the control deck, and it's the back button or the rewind button. That is A, right, in terms of what the system sees or what the OTG PC sees. So at this point, all the controls now work for our game. We can choose using the flippers. They're set up as LB, RB. And you can change any of these tables. One we haven't looked at is Secrets of the Deep, I think. So if we choose A on that, it should take us over to the table. And now here we go, we've got, if you'd like to continue or not, the B button is your uh, forward nudge. So we're gonna start a new game and our plunger should automatically be recognized. So you got to hit A first to launch. And now you can see our plunger is working. And this was without any real configuration. This is how Steam, as long as Steam is set up to recognize the Legends controller, it should recognize this just fine. Hopefully this got you on your way. Obviously, if there's any questions or if you have any uh, feedback or anything like that, 
put that in the comments. I'll do my best to go through and answer everybody. I also post these other places like Facebook, Twitter, uh, you know, you can communicate with me there. All the links for communication are below. Even on Reddit, try to, um, you know, add some comments here and there that I think are relevant within the, uh, the Legends Ultimate subreddit. But other than that, just reach out, let me know. If you did enjoy this video, give it a like. And if you'd like to share this with somebody, please do so. And also and give us a subscribe. We'd love to see you come back. But until then, folks, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.